It's not exactly clear what's going to happen next, but the governor is calling on the feds to step up and critics are calling for a change to state law. We can no longer guarantee shelter placement for families who are sent here. Emergency shelters are rapidly running out of room. Governor Healy acknowledging the state's right to shelter law, but saying without help from the Biden administration soon, she'll be forced to put limits in place. Currently, 6,945 families are in the Commonwealth's emergency shelters, 40 families added in the last 24 hours alone. That's more than 23,000 people, half are migrants. We have to focus on our own own people. There are people hurting in the Commonwealth. Steve Exaros, a Republican state senator from Barnstable, wants to suspend and amend the right to shelter law, saying priority should be given to Massachusetts residents who are U.S. citizens. It was passed in 1983. I don't think the intent or anyone had the vision that, wow, 40 years from now, there's going to be thousands of people coming from other countries. The governor today appointing former Air National Guard Director Lieutenant General Scott Rice to lead the state's response to the crisis. For months, Healy has been pleading for help from the White House and Congress. Nothing should signal that uh, the feds have said no to us, um, but we've got a situation to manage every single day as more families come into the state. Lawmakers on both sides are calling this a federal problem that needs a federal solution and say the states are bearing the burden of inaction. At the State House tonight, I'm Mary Salat on WCDB News Center 5.